What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again, and welcome back to Zoo Reviews, a series where myself and a couple of my good friends here on YouTube, such as Artsy Dilo, Dino Man, and Spino Dude, all review as many modern day animal figures as we can and put them into one big collection playlist called Zoo Reviews, which is linked in the description. And today I'm going to be reviewing probably my most anticipated of my Zoo Reviews, the Vaquita Porpoise. Uh, from Safari for 2018, I believe. Yep. So this is the most recent figure I've been reviewing, or I will review on the channel. Um, I'm really excited about this one. I love this figure so much. And this is actually my new favorite species of whale. Um, now if you want to know more about why this is my new favorite species of whale and why this figure means so much to me, please go watch my haul video from my California trip um, when I went to go meet my good friend Artsy Dilo. That will be linked in the top right corner right now. Um, in that video we talk about um, why this figure is so important to me and why I like it so much. And I'll give a big shout out and thank you to Artsy Dilo who actually bought this for me. So thank you, bud. You're the best. I love this figure. Definitely my favorite modern day animal figure that I own currently. Now before we get into the review of this guy, remember if you want to get this Vaquita Porpoise or any other Safari LTD product, make sure to head over to www.safariltd.com and use the promo code KikiAndCoffee1 at the checkout and get 20% off your next purchase. Alright, now here is the card or the tag it's Vaquita Porpos um, the Porpos if you know what movie I'm referencing when I say the Porpos I love you and comment down below what the movie is I'm quoting um, or what I'm refer referencing and you'll get pinned <laughs> if you know if you know which movie I'm, I'm referencing it's one of my favorite movies but the population numbering around 30 animals the Vaquita is the most endangered of all cetaceans now cetaceans are whales I love the Vaquita so freaking much. I'm not gonna talk too much about uh, why I fell in love with it here because that I talked about that in the haul video. Yet again, linked in the description and it's in the top right corner right now. But it's so cute. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how adorable that is. Look at that adorable little face. Oh, so adorable. So adorable. Okay, so let's get into accuracy. Now the story behind the Vaquita is quite an unfortunate one as these guys are almost extinct in the wild and they're actually native to only along the Pacific Coast lining California and Mexico which is really unfortunate. They're nearly extinct um, from overfishing. It's really unfortunate that these guys are going extinct. They're so cute. They're such small whales and they're very vulnerable and this is exactly what is going on to so many countless species uh, that humans are affecting all around the world and the Vaquita is only one of them and unfortunately it's looking more and more like these guys are actually going to end up going extinct. I mean when you just look it up on Google Images like I was looking up references for accuracy to this guy um, it's it's so apparent how rare these guys are because there's r barely any pictures and the only pictures I can find of these guys are of them dead and caught in nets and stuff. Um, there's just like one or two pictures I found of them actually in the water. The rest are drawings of what they look like. Uh, but based on the few uh, corpses and stuff like that that I managed to find and the few pictures of them in the water, which are pretty blurry, it does look like this figure is really accurate to the actual animal. A lot of them actually do have more of a dark, uh, blacker color on their face and around their eyes. And, but some of them do have this white ring around their eyes, but some of them don't. Um, so it seems like some individual variation that in that case right there. But it's it's definitely a very accurate figure for the most part. It definitely it does a very good job at representing a Vaquita. Um, as for detail, there's not much to talk about. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty bland. Um, but that's kind of what it should be. <laughs> it's it's a whale, so it's got very smooth skin. Um, however. There's this really nice crease here that's um, making the, the muscle and belly uh, outline there along the tail, which is pretty cool. Um, there's some nice curves inside the tail there. And around the face we get a lot more detail for sure, um, outlining the, the mouth. I do believe there's some kind of lines going on here. I don't know if that's actually intentional, but there's some lines around the jaw there. Uh, the eyes nicely detailed. So where the detail needs to be, there is detail, which is pretty nice. Um, and I'm not going to knock it for being so smooth because that's quite how the animal would be. Of course, there could be some like barnacles or something on that, but I'm not going to knock it for that because most of the 
the, the ones I've seen are actually quite clean and not too many scars on them besides ones that are dead. As for paint, I love the paint application. The paint is really nice. Um, you can see that it's got this nice fade to it. I think they use some kind of airbrush or something on it. Um, and then for the, the, the face pattern there, um, this gray is quite, quite nice. And I love the transition. It's got a mini fade to it. And then the eye is really beautifully painted. It is a little unaligned on this one. Um, this one they did much better on the eye. Um, but really beautiful eye. And the, 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 the white stripe is a little, it's a little harsh, but... Um, definitely stands out a little bit, but it is a feature on the actual animal, and so I'm not going to knock it for that. I do actually quite like how it came out all good. And then it's got these really dark fins um, right here. These pectoral fins are quite dark, and they, they seem to have like these uh, little black or these little gray stripes that are coming off the front of them right there, which is um, nice. But there's also, I don't know if I'm going to get this on camera. Oh, there we go. If there's actually a sparkle. There's this very light sparkle inside this gray paint there that you can see. Uh, look at the shimmering light right there. There's all these little sparkles inside of the actual paint, which is really nice. Unfortunately, there's a scuff there, I believe. Um, but there's this really nice shimmering sparkle in that gray paint, which is really cool. I don't think it's present on the white. No, it's not. It's only present in the gray here, which you can see on the fin right there. And it's really pretty. It, it, it gives it kind of this wet look, and it's it's really charming. I, I really do like it. It makes it, it adds to the wet look of the animal. Um, it's very smooth, and it shines very easy, like the reflection you can easily see bouncing off of it. And then there's the shimmering um, of the glitter that's inside of the paint. And so it's really it's really cool to see that they, they did that, because it, it just makes it, it sells the wet look of the animal, um, which you can see there it does look like something that could be in the water which is really cool now as for size comparisons let's bring out the other zoo reviews figures that i've reviewed so far we have the 2007 uh gray wolf we have the 2017 harpy eagle and the 2013 weedy sea dragon right there here's the vaquita next to my bala shark or one of my bala sharks yet again don't mind the dirty cage i have to turn off the the filter while I'm doing reviews because it's very noisy and it makes a lot of noise and he likes digging in the sand so there's a bunch of dirt in here all over the place and there he there's my boy Phoenix my red tiger Oscar next to the Safari uh, 2018 Vaquita <laughs> you're so cute Hey guys, I was just editing the video and I realized that I forgot to mention something that I think is really important and that's that I just really want to make sure I commend Safari for making a vaquita porpoise in the first place because this thing is such an endangered animal and I didn't even know that it existed until I walked into the Aquarium of the Pacific which is uh, an aquarium that's along the coast of where these things are native and so they had tons of them in there but Safari was the thing that contributed to um, me f finding out and thinking they were so adorable. I mean, this figure is just amazing, but it, it draws, the fact that Safari has made a figure of this animal draws more attention to the animal and gives more awareness to the, the, the dire situation that these animals are in currently in the wild and that we need to take action. And if anybody is able to make any kind of impact on the actual animals that are living out there, if you live along the Pacific Coast, if you're able to make an effort to save the vaquita porpoise, that everybody should be doing their part to try to protect these animals and every other animal out in the wild that's endangered. And so I really want to thank Safari personally from the bottom of my heart for making this vaquita porpoise and helping to introduce me to my new favorite whale and to an animal that is in dire need of our help because humans are killing them every day and there's only 30 of them left. Just thank you. Thank you, Safari and we need to take a stand. Now, um, really, I think this figure is pretty near flawless. I mean, it's really incredible. Now, the eye being out of place is probably just some minor quality control issues, and that's not gonna be on everyone's figure. Really, my only major complaint would be that I wish that the white ring around the eyes was maybe, they could have done like a little fading in there, but really, I mean, that's a it's not really that big of a complaint. I mean, if anything, that's one of the, the things that really drew me to this figure when I saw it in the, the gift shop at the Aquarium of the Pacific. I really liked the little white eyes, um, and so I'm really not going to hold that back against it, because quite quite honestly, I mean, it really it sells the figure well. Um, and so I'm going to give this guy 
a solid 10 out of 10. It's going to be our first 10 out of 10 on the zoo reviews, and it's my favorite out of the animals so far. Obviously, because I gave it a 10 out of 10. So yeah, I really enjoy this figure a lot, and if you like collecting cetaceans or anything like that, or, um, you know, just modern-day animals, or if you like vaquita whales like I do, then just get it. It's so great. It's so worth your money. It's a really cheap figure, too. I mean, for retail price in a gift shop at an aquarium, this guy was $5.99, which is not that bad. Um, so I'm assuming you can get it for a lot cheaper online and stuff, so definitely try to pick this one up. It's a really, really good figure. Now, if you do want to get this guy or any other Safari figure, make sure to head over to www.safariltd.com and at the checkout, use the promo code KIKIANDCOFFEE1 with a capital K, A, and C, and you'll get 20% off your next purchase. Or you can just use the link provided in the description. One more big thank you to my good friend Artsy Dilo for purchasing this guy for me. I love you man i love this vaquita i love you guys hope you guys enjoyed this review and i'll catch you guys in the next one Bye bye